Hello, Dave here. I uh, got uh, the top of one side done up there. Oh, there's the one. And uh, did uh, took a couple, three days off here. But I'm back at it, and it's a nice day today. I got a little shade here. And uh, I started with this one. This is my um, starting on the passenger side. You can see this one goes up into my tree a little bit. They have to do a little trimming, but um, get it out of here. But what I wanted to do is I want to show how I do these this one stick at a time. And and uh, you fabricators out there know you square things. Well, in a situation like this where you can't square it, and I've said this, I don't want to beat a dead horse. I've said it over and over, but I want to show exactly what I do. And what I do is I measure, I measure from this point right here, all the way down to the end of the trailer, right here, right there. And uh, then I, I measure the how high the stick is, which in this case, this one is 126 and 5 eighths inches. Now, my deck is it's supposed to be 125 and a half. But in one of my earlier uh, videos when I was doing this and I kind of overwhelded my deck a little bit because I want a good foundation, it did a uh, potato chip on me a little bit, which means that the, the back kind of warped up, made it like a potato chip. So what I do, if you look under here, you can see there, there's a gap under that. I just take a tube and run it all the way down, measure that, add it to it, which in this case, came out to an inch and an eighth and over here it is uh, five eighths so I'll just add that to my 125 and a half the end pieces which I haven't cut this one here is 125 and a half and so this one here which has to be five eighths inches longer is 126 and an eighth and this one's 126 and five eighths so now I know those those height dimensions I don't have to measure them all I have to do is measure this one which came out to uh, 104 and an eighth. So all you do is use Pythagorean's theorem. You know, a squared plus b squared equals a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Excuse me there. And this one right here, the hypotenuse, is the important one. That's the one we're searching for. So I went across the trailer which was 98 inches across and I got 154 and three quarters and over here I got 163 and 15 sixteenths so I I got this uh, tape measure magnetic on one end which I don't like magnetic it does help here because it wants to stick uh, into that tubing so I pull the tubing back and as you can see now this is a uh, it's more or less, we don't have a sharp corner, but this is, I'm gonna call it about 163 and 15 sixteenths to the edge out here. And I did the same thing over there. Once I hold that, I get this up here. We're going to assume it's square, which in reality, it's probably within an eighth inch or I'm gonna say a quarter inch at the very most at, in these distances which is easy to pull it in so what I did was did a little tack a couple little tacks over here to, that's all it is is holding it onto uh, my fender that I built and uh, that's what I did with each one of them I, I cut all these out this morning this long piece here is going to be the upper outside edge and once I get all my, my four sticks up there I'll put this up I solved my little problem you can see here's my scaffolding on this end didn't have any on this end so i actually went this is a small one but i took it apart and rebuilt it down here so that uh it's six feet off the ground i'm about five ten, and that's only you know it's not quite 13 feet so it's not more than i don't know 10 inches above my head which uh i could handle so Got her all figured out. I'm going to do this once I get all these in. 
I will cut my cross members and put them in the end on, and on each post. And I'm, I'm just, uh, uh, I know I'm moving slow, but I, I do want to get uh, my, well, everything up here, but I, I want to get this uh, spiral staircase started. This is where it'll center up and that'll bring it out within about an inch or so with the outside there and this one here comes up leaves me enough room to put a diagonal on this post here I will I will have a diagonal running down from probably up here pretty high down to probably right here because I want to leave all this this uh, tongue width is actually comes out to 40 inches which is makes it way bigger than a door. The back end, I want to make it uh, about 36 inches wide. My, this, this little scaffolding that I built down here is actually an in, the inside scaffolding that I used on the other trailer. So I have an inside scaffolding and an outside. This one's the outside, and I actually need one on each end. So once I get this built, the inside scaffolding is only 32 inches wide. And with a 36 inch width down here, my little doorway, I'll be able to uh, easily get it inside here to work on stuff up here when I get further along. Do the hangers, put my shafting up there, and, uh, and uh, I'm gonna, of course, put a gantry crane up here. This I beam right here was what I was gonna use, but uh, I got it. Uh, it was used for a gantry crane and the guy sold it to me really cheap but this thing is eight inches high and four inches wide it's just way more than I need it's really heavy I want to say it easily weighs over 300 pounds I, I, I can't hardly even move it I got a hook come along to it and my, everything and so this stuff so everything went up so expensive this tubing here is uh it's like uh one outrageous is one one piece of tubing is up to ninety three dollars a stick i probably need about <laughs> 400 feet of tubing to do this that's 24 feet and uh luckily i got most of it here um, i'm gonna have to do something about my diagonals to stiffen it up thinking about using pipe if i can get the pipe cheaper because an uh, inch and a half pipe is, I believe, one and seven eighths, uh, between one and seven eighths, one and fifteen sixteenths, which would work good on two inch tubing, which I'm using all this on. And the wall thickness is probably a little thicker. I'm using uh, eighth inch wall tubing on everything, which would give plenty enough strength and uh, kind of build this like a bridge. And uh, the only problem is. Uh, Spending the money, getting it. This this one here, ready to go. I got one little diagonal. I think I'll do my my diagonals on the bottom will be square tubing, and the diagonals on the top will be pipe. I think I have to check on it, but I think pipe might be just a little bit uh, more inexpensive, a little bit cheaper. And this trailer. This is a little bit of a money pit. But if you just do a little at a time the way I'm doing it, it'll all work out. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.